The Pink Panther invades North High School. The girls' basketball team starts their season, and we look at weather with Kyle Smith. This is the Weekly Roar with your hosts, Logan Van Wy and Christy Dwayne. Wildcat Sports with Paige Pastorius and a look at Wildcat weather with Kyle Smith. Hello and welcome to the Weekly Roar. I'm Logan Van Wy. And I'm Christy Dewayne. Today we'll be taking a look at the weekend weather forecast, see what's in store for girls basketball, and take a sneak peek at the drama production of The Pink Panther Strikes Again. Before we get started, let's take a look at weather and see what it's going to be like around here with our Chief Meteorologist, Kyle Smith. Thanks guys. Well, the temperatures have been pretty cool this past week and it doesn't get any better going into next week. Looking at the national map, not much is going on, just a little bit of cloud coverage. Taking a little closer look at home, there is lots of cloud coverage. Today will be rainy with a high of 62 and a low of 45. And going into next week, temperatures will stay steadily the same and pretty cool. Saturday will be rainy with a high of 47 and a low of 31. Sunday, there will be a chance of snow with a high of 43 and a low of 27. Monday, there will also be a chance of snow with a high of 42 and a low of 26. And Tuesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 48 and a low of 25. That's it for weather. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kyle. Boy, it sure is getting cold. You can say that again. It sure is getting cold. Really, Christy? Really? Senior pictures must be submitted to Mr. Black no later than December 1st. Photos are available in an envelope labeled with your first name, middle initial, and last name printed clearly and spelled out correctly. The updated list of accepted submissions will be kept in the hub showcase to be sure to, so be sure to check the pictures are accepted. We'll be having a drama club meeting next week on Tuesday in the auditorium. After school, there will be a refreshments and we'll be watching the movie from last year and playing improv games. Make sure to be sh there and new members are welcome. Newark High School Drama is proud to present its fall play, The Pink Panther Strikes Again. Come out and watch this, the hilarious antics of the Inspector Caluso he, as he faces off against assassins all over the world. We sent Griffin Ottman to investigate more on the play. Griffin? Guys, I'm Griffin Ottman, and this week in the drama department will be putting on their first performance of the year with an exciting rendition of The Pink Panther Strikes Again. The drama department have been working very hard for the past two months to get the play ready. I spoke with Mr. Williams, the director of the play, about why he chose The Pink Panther for this performance. I was looking for a play. Um, first of all, it had a large cast, because we have a lot of kids who wanted to be involved and who are very talented, um, and a very diverse cast. There's a lot of different kind of characters in it. Um, and I was looking for something light and fun. I'm a big fan of the Pink Panther movies. Um, I think they're very funny, and this play is, um, I think the play script is actually funnier than the movies were. So I thought it would be a fun play to do. Well, it's the stage version of one of the old Pink Panther movies, Pink Panther Strikes Again. Um, it's about Inspector Clouseau and his arch nemesis, Paul Dreyfus, who um, escapes from a mental institution is trying to destroy him, and he's trying to destroy Paul Dreyfus so he doesn't destroy the world. And um, assassins from all over the world are coming after Inspector Clouseau to get him. Um, and it's a very um, slapstick kind of comedy, um, a lot of very physical humor. In the final week of rehearsals, everyone is working very hard from after school till 9 o'clock. And I asked Brittany Harris how all the hard work would affect the show. I think the show is going to be really, really good. It's very funny. It's very entertaining. There's never really a dull moment because it's very, there's a lot of physical action also, physical comedy. So I think anyone would enjoy it. I think it's going to be hilarious. The kids who have been working on it keep me, um, pretty much keep me in stitches through every rehearsal. They're very funny kids and their performances are going to be incredibly funny. Um, I keep telling myself no matter what else I drop the ball on, at least my kids are funny. So it's going to be an entertaining show. A 
Admissions are at the door. $8 for adults, $5 for students. Well, it definitely looks like I have something to do this weekend, and it involves a jungle creature. Anything with a jungle creature is pretty sweet. I'm Griffin Ottman, back to you guys. That looks really funny. I know, they have been working really hard lately, but they're not the only ones. On Saturday, November 8th, the quiz team participated at St. Charles in the No Tournament. The team had a great time and competed against schools from all over Central Ohio. Congrats to Tony Chapman, Ashkan Brahmi, Alice Beamer, Carson Bondock, Alex Bress, Griffin Ottman, Michelle Brown, Ben Todd, and Duncan Smith. National Honor Society will be running a food drive next week for the Salvation Army. They are asking for food donations and will collect them in bases. The winning base will get donuts and juice, so get in the mood and give National Honor Society members to sign up outside 102F to help with the food drive during base next week. The wrestling team is looking for help to keep stats this season. If you are interested, please visit Coach Forsythe in 17C. We just need a couple of people. Winter sports are on their way and in full progress. Let's check with Paige to see how girls basketball is coming along. Thanks guys. Well last week we had a chance to look at the boys basketball team and now it's the girls turn. So here's Carissa Daup with the preview of the girls varsity basketball team. Was on varsity basketball about their upcoming season. This year we're going to make a nice run in the tournament, get our first tournament win, um, have a winning season, do pretty good. Um, hopefully we'll have a winning season, we'll definitely have more confidence and bring more people out to watch us. I also interviewed Reed Huffman, a freshman who is starting point guard on varsity this year, about the pressure that is being put on her. Well, I guess everyone's kind of relying on me and I've never played against any of the varsity people. A lot of the players are really excited about their new coach. Um, he's kind of strict and gets us working. He loves a new head coach. He's so good. Um, he actually makes us work. You know, he might be a little mean sometimes, but he makes us work. We'll do good. Basically, he's a great coach, a great guy. We love him. We also talked to the new coach to see how he felt on his new position. It's exciting. It's challenging. Um, it's exhausting. It's a lot of time to be put in. And um, again, just excited about it. Thanks, Cressa. Get out there and support our Lady Cats, and good luck. Thanks, Paige. It looks like we could have another state championship team this year. You never know. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Friday. We leave you with our alma mater. Go Cats! Be.